I am going to go over how to use Gas Buddy to compare gas prices in your area to help you find the best prices on gas. So the first thing we'll want to do is go ahead and download the app. So I'm going to the app store on my iPhone. Um, if you are on an Android device, you will want to go to Google Play. Under the search tab, I'm going to type in Gas Buddy. All right, and so it will look like a little orange and teal two-lane road. The app is called Gas Buddy. I've had the app downloaded on my phone before, so I have this cloud icon. If it's the first time you're downloading it, it will likely say something along the lines of get or install. You might need to enter a password for your iCloud or Google account, um, depending on what your phone settings are. Now that the app is downloaded on your phone, um, it will show up either on your home screen or in your full list of apps. I'm going to go ahead and open up the app. So you can sign up for an account with Gas Buddy. Um, I personally have never had to, or I've never signed up with for an account, um, and I've still been able to use Gas Buddy for all of the features that I would like to. Um, so I'm going to click on Skip in the top corner. Um, but as I am moving through the app, I will show you some of the features that will be more available to you um, if you do sign up for an app. Gas Buddy also offers um, a credit card and a debit card that provide additional discounts at the pump. Um, so depending on how much you drive, how much gas you use, this might be something to look into, um, but this, is never, this has never been a feature that I've taken advantage of. Um, so I'm going to select maybe later. You also can theoretically allow Gas Buddy to track your driving habits, similar to how some insurance companies do that. Um, and if you are determined to be a safe driver by Gas Buddy, you could use this to potentially get additional discounts on your car insurance. Again, this is not a feature that I have ever used. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and click on skip. Um, now it will ask if you would be are willing to share your location with the Gas Buddy app. This is something that I allow while I am using the app. Um, as I'm traveling, it makes finding inexpensive or less expensive gas, at least, um, more convenient. Um, the, the credit and debit card options from Gas Buddy are very, um, I guess, very much the priority of the company, it seems like right now. So you will be given a lot of um, pop-ups and ads asking if you would like to sign up for the credit card. Um, I choose to ignore those. Um, and the feature that I find to be most valuable within Gas Buddy is going to be either um, this red find gas button at the top of my screen or the find gas tab um, that is in the bottom left of your screen. So depending on the type of vehicle you drive, um, you can select the type of gas that you fill up with. Um, I use regular. Um, that will be the price point for gas that you will be shown on your screen. Um, there are filters at the top of the screen here that are worth going through. So it will default to your current location. Um, say you're going on a road trip though, um, and you know approximately where you wanna stop for gas, you can type in a different location to give yourself an idea um, of which gas station will have the best deals in a different location. Um, you can also create a trip. So I um, am at the library right now. Say I wanted to go to Colorado Springs I can select a route and along my travel route, I can see um, gas prices along my route. So if you're going on a long road trip, this feature is quite helpful. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this and then I'm going to go back to the list view. In the search bar right next to where it says current location, there is a little road sign with an arrow. Um, so that is how you can access um, 
trip mapping in Gas Buddy. The default view to compare gas prices is going to be this list view here. Um, and the default sort method is price and distance, price or distance or or deals. Um, so depending on what your priority is, if you are just looking to save money, but you're willing to drive a little bit farther, you can um, sort by cheapest first. Um, and so it looks like right now, um, there is an ad that pops up, but you can see that it says ad in the top corner. So 375 is not in fact the cheapest deal. Um, but it looks like Costco is going to be the least expensive um, gas for me today, or this Murphy Express location. Um, some things to consider um, when scrolling down, um, if you have any sort of fuel memberships, like a King Supers card, and you know that you have fuel points, um, that 341 is not going to take those types of discounts into consideration. Um, so keep that in mind that you might need to scroll down a little bit um, if you want to consider a specific gas station. If looking at a list view is less um, less convenient for you or works a little bit less well than a map view, you also do have the option to look at a map view. Um, so you can toggle to that by clicking on the button that says map in the top right corner. Um, and then if you are sharing your location with the app, um, your your location will show up as a blue dot and then you can compare prices um, based on your your immediate location and see where those deals are going to be. Back on the home screen, um, right under that um, red fine gas button, you can add favorite stations. So if there are three or four that you frequent on a regular basis and just want to be able to quickly compare the ones that you know are convenient and safe feeling for you, um, that is one feature that you can take advantage of if you sign up for the app. Um, again, I've never created an account. I generally just use my location and view the list to see what is closest and least expensive. Um, but that is something that you can do to convenient be able, conveniently be able to compare your favorite gas stations. There are some additional ways to either save money at the pump or get cash back at Gas Buddy. Um, I have, in preparation for teaching this class, I gave a few of them a try, um, but... I found that they were a little bit more hassle than they were worth. Um, I really think that the value of Gas Buddy is just being able to quickly compare what gas prices are in your immediate area or using that trip planning feature to be able to um, see what gas prices are along a route, especially if I'm in an unfamiliar area um, and don't know which gas stations trend on the less expensive side. Um, so that's really what I wanted to focus on today. Hopefully this will help you save some money at the pump.